pretty much, I, well, I guess my dream, first of all, my dream is to, to, to be a writer, to be a creative person that gets my thoughts out and tries to impact people with my words. And I think in getting that done, I've been a writer since like 1998, and I've written things for other people, written things that weren't necessarily my, my thoughts or what I wanted to express. So I think starting the blog, so I make myself someone help me get my thoughts out on a daily basis because I, I had no outlet for that anyway besides that, you know? I mean, honestly, with Naked Sock Song, it evolved. When I started, I initially started on MySpace just writing my thoughts. There was no kind of plan for what it was going to be. And then when I shifted to Naked Sock Song, it was the same thing, just an extension of what I did on MySpace. And then I kind of adapted to the audience. When I kind of was very honest, you know, from a male perspective, from a man, you know, coming into his adulthood years, you know, I started the blog pretty much like around my 30th birthday, so which is really a pivotal point for a lot of people. And I think, you know, I used to do film TV stuff, I used to do, you know, more newsy stuff, but kind of the relationship and the sex stuff and the erotica. Honestly, the erotica, I'm not an erotica, I've been writing this like, I mean, over 10 years, and I never thought I would be doing erotica, but somehow, just in me tapping into my emotions and tapping into what I wanted to write, what I wanted to express, that came out. And based on the reaction, it just became now I consider myself an erotica writer. So it just kind of evolved from what people kind of responded to, and it just gave me the outlet to just like let my emotions like come kind of out. You know? Yeah, I, I think definitely the site has helped me like envision you know my idea of doing a book. Because now that I have this audience built in and people like accepting my writing, it's not my traditional music profile or artist profile. It's just my thoughts. You know, speaking about real issues. It's, you know, now I can see a lane for doing a book or being called, like, you know, a relationship consultant, a relationship expert, you know, which I'm just a man with an opinion. I look at it like that, I'm just a man with an opinion, you know, and I might give a certain perspective that a lot of people won't give, or I say things that men don't say a lot, you know, definitely we hold on to our emotions, we're not very, like, you know, emotional for lack of a better word, and I think that I express myself in my writing. And the guys might not comment on a regular basis, but they do tell me that, like, you know, I was thinking the same thing, I feel the same way, and it's like, I think it's good for women of color, women of, you know, all races, really, to just see men speaking openly and honestly about real things, whether it be a relationship, whether it be sex, whether it be, like, family, you know, and things of that nature, you know? I think in, in, in following your dreams, like, one of the things you need to do is have a plan. You know, if you don't have a plan, you have an idea, everyone has an idea and no idea is original, you gotta have a plan. How are you gonna get from point A to point B to point C, all the way to Z? You have to really have a plan to really have your dreams fulfilled. Um, the second thing in that is that if you really do have this dream, you have this belief that you can do this thing, is that you can't let other people sway you know, your vision. If it's really your dream and you wanna hold on to it, you shouldn't care what Joe Smoke says about it or not believing in you. Um, and as far as the third thing in terms of reaching your dreams, it's just like you have to be focused and understand that there might be sacrifice. You know, for myself, like, you know, I sacrifice a lot to do what I'm doing right now to get my dream accomplished. I might not go to every single party. I might not be here and there, but I know I have to do something that's bigger than the now. I have to put the time in to get to that end point, to the A, to the B, to the Z, all the way down to the end, you know? So I think that's like the last part of that. What, I, what I've learned in just my journey about um, relationships, like writing about relationships and being in relationships and falling out of relationships, I think the main thing I definitely have learned is honesty and like communication. Any relationship, whether it's a romantic, platonic, whatever, you need to have communication. I think a lot of people don't talk to each other. They talk at each other, they don't talk to each other. So I think that's definitely one thing I've learned that, you know, any relationship I have with someone is that I need to communicate. If something bothers me, I'm not gonna sit on it and just let that bubble and fester. I wanna actually address that and let's, let's talk about that. And I think a lot of you bring that into relationships. It will help those relationships grow and uh, blossom. Um, another thing about relationships that I've learned is that you know men and women are different. We think differently, we act differently, we have different emotions, and communication plays into how we make those things mesh together and actually make it work, you know? because. Women, for the most part, are emotional creatures, and men are, are not, for the most part. We have emotions, but we don't show them. So it's about realizing that there are differences, that your, your girlfriend or your wife isn't going to think 
how you think about the issue. Just like you're not going to think about the same thing earlier. So you have to, you know, and I think that brings to the third thing I've learned. You have to listen. Part of communication is listening. Not everyone is a listener. Listening is an art form. I can hear you all day, but am I listening? So once you learn to listen to people and really convey the conversation, you really see it's a give and take, not just like, she's babbling, yap, 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 and you're not listening at all. It's not really going to work. So you need to communicate, you need to listen, and you need to understand that men and women are different creatures together.